I welcome you all with my love and respects. I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis sitting with us around the world at this moment. 295 places through Nityananda TV. In 42 places, two-way video conferencing having Nayana Diksha. In 172 cities, in 18 countries around the world. May PR say, Aap sabka hartik swagat karta hum. I welcome with my humble respects Sri Swami Anubhavanandaji Anubhavanandaji Maharaj from Chinmaya Mission. I welcome him with our love and respects. And Brahma Kumari's ashram team, I welcome them. Welcome. Ram Snehi Sadhus from Rajasthan, I welcome all of you. And Norwegian News Channel Padanjali Productions. Where are they? Padanjali Productions. I welcome. I welcome all of you for today's satsang. I welcome you all with my love and respects. And the city is sitting with us in two-way video conferencing. Having Nayana Diksha, Guadalupe, Rameshwaram, New York, Varanasi, Charlotte, Sri Salem, Devon, UK, Sharjah, Monterey, Mexico, Austin, Brooklyn, London, Chicago, Srirangam, Dakota Dunes, Atlanta, Ujjaini, Singapore, Singapore, Bangalore, Marathalli, Madrid, Spain, Toronto, Kailasam, Nityananda Nagara, Bidhi, Tiruvannamalai, Arunachalam, Vancouver, Puri, San Jose, Madurai, Chennai, Alvar Pet, Ohio, Prayag, Phoenix, Kanchiburam, Oklahoma, Somanatham, Hyderabad, Bahyanagaram, Los Angeles, Arunachalam, Seattle, Chidambaram, Adayar, Chennai, Hyderabad, Bahyanagaram. Bangalore, Maratha, Hali. Some more cities are online. Yes, now I can see some more cities joining. Already they joined, now I can see them. Alright, show this laptop itself. Ma Priyankananda, Malaysia, Paris, Kaligat, Dubai, Tirukkoyilur, Tri, Michigan, Slovakia, Koshitse, Las Pet, Pandicherry, Hyderabad, Sri, Durango, Klang, Malaysia, uh, Klang or Lunang? Lunas, Malaysia. Chennai, Nungambakam, Kastav, Croatia. Scottsdale, Arizona. Tallahassee, Florida. London, Kashi. Oman, Sivagangai. Black Diamond City, Canada. That's all. And Slovakia, Koshitsi. That's it. Kastav, Croatia and Workshop UK, Slovakia, Shivaloka, yes, and we are live from Mahakumbapuri, Prayag. I welcome all of you with my love and respects. Today, Nirahara Samyama, the meditation process without food, 
second level fifth day we are continuing and kalpavas third day living in kumbapuri doing kalpavas third day we are continuing i'll continue to expand and explain the beautiful vedic story churning of the milky ocean the history of kumbha mela maha kumbha mela listen whenever you live these great tatvas as satyas tatva means an idea grasped by your intellect satya means the idea imbibed by your bio memory when it is your intellect playing around it is tatva idea when your bio memory feels it when it becomes part of you it is satya please understand if you are living certain satyas just your very touch your presence a word with you will awaken the inspiration in the other person i am able to see many of our kumbhavasis kalpavasis the participants who are staying doing kalpavas when they go out and say one word people immediately catch the inspiration when you live when it becomes bio memory in you please understand when you don't have internal fight with certain idea you will not have external fight when you share it with others as long as you have internal fight with that idea when you try to preach you will have external fight if you don't have internal fight you will not have external fight that is why the vedic tradition hindu tradition did not need an army jihad to spread its ideas we were so thoroughly living radiating convinced all we did to spread our satyas is nothing more than touching just a touch the bio memory is transmitted the initiation nothing else it is transmitted the energy is transmitted the idea is transmitted tatvas are transmitted satyas are shared listen only when you live the principles when you live the tatvas without any internal fight it is satya for example one principle i am giving an example morning during brahma mahurta you have to get up and do your yoga and an clutch practice samadhi or meditation if you are still struggling to wake up in the morning and somehow you are doing it but there is a struggle it means it is only in the level of tatva in you an idea if you are just waking up like a child and running to the bathroom your steps are dance alive not even one iota one idea today somehow can i get exemption even an idea is not there you are just there brahma mahurta you are there up alive there is no internal fight then the idea has become satya 
Tattva has become Satya. Please listen. I am giving you one example. I am not saying whoever wakes up in the morning during Brahma Mugurtha, they are all enlightened. No, I am not giving all that certificate. I am just giving you the example of how Tattva becomes Satya. I can give you one more example. Integrity. Integrity means honoring the word you give it to you and to others. Please listen. We fulfill even the word we give it to others 50% because society's pressure, name and fame, prestige. But you forget the words you give it to you. Many times when you face some su suffering, you give a word to yourself, I will not get into this action anymore. But you don't keep up the word, you give it to yourself. So the integrity comes, the first step for the integrity is honoring the word you give it to you. Listen. Many times, you find a solution for certain problem, mentally thinking, thinking, thinking. And after two days, you forget the solution, get into the same problem. After one week, you find the same solution. After one week, you forget the solution and get into the same problem. And after one week, you find the same solution. How many of you cognize that you go through this rut? So be very clear. Still, integrity has not become your bio-memory. It is only in the level of tattva. It has not yet become satya. When you live these four tattvas, integrity, Authenticity, responsibility, enriching yourself and others. With these four tattvas, when these four tattvas become your bio memory, you are living. A jivan Mukta life. Your consciousness becomes enlightened consciousness. I tell you, when there is group of people living, radiating enlightened consciousness, that group is called part of nectar. Kumbhakata. The nectar part. Anybody comes inside that group, gets blessed by that tattvas and when you live those th when somebody is blessed with that tattvas please listen when you radiate this tattvas you become immortal how? just by authenticity shraddha nachiketa become immortal just the shraddha Margandeya became immortal when you live you radiate these tattvas you become immortal when a group of people radiate these tattvas they become the kumbha part the kumbha kata the part of nectar whoever comes into their space they are all given that nectar and whoever receives that nectar, they also become immortal. It is the strength of enlightened consciousness maintained by the group of enlightened beings is Kumbhakata, the Kumbha Kalasha, Amrita Kalasha, Amrita Kumbha, the nectar part There was a time group of people radiating these great tattvas living like gods. Of course, when you live these tattvas, these four tattvas, 
integrity, authenticity, responsibility and enriching. You live like a God wherever you are. There was a group of people living like a God's, that place was called Svargaloga and that collective enlightened consciousness was called Amrita Kalasha, Kumbhakata. Understand, this is to respect the tradition. This throne, these jewels all are honor to the tattva for which I am standing. Understand, the tattva which I am representing, that is honored by all that. So this bandara and everything honors the tattva we represent, tattva we stand for. So, All the devotees, if you are planning, still thinking all over the world, just fly. 10th and 12th, don't miss. 12th is going to be a very big festival. 12th is going to be a very big function where almost, I can say, 10,000. 10,000 sadhus are going to be given Bandara by Dhyanapetam. Feast, feast and pranami by Dhyanapitam, we are ordering shawls, umbrellas, padukas for all the sadhus. Maybe we will even be getting kamandalu. And so all devotees around the world don't miss the chance of seeing 10,000 sadhus in one place. And almost all the Mahamandaleshwars and Mandaleshwars. Come on, let me get back to the subject, the satsang. When a group of people radiate enlightenment, that collective consciousness is called Amrita Kalasha. That place is called heaven, Swarga. People are living like gods. Unfortunately, sometimes few people enter into that place to enjoy the infrastructure but not ready to practice those tattvas, those principles. It's like a few demons enter the Swargaloga. They want to enjoy the infrastructure of the Swargaloga, the beautiful palaces, everything. But they don't want to live, live the principles of Swargaloka. Principles of that place. So understand, when you enter into a place and you want their infrastructure and don't follow the principles, you are called demon. When you enter into this country, and you want to enjoy the infrastructure of this country, but you don't respect the constitution of this country, you are a terrorist. Same way, when you enter into a place and you don't want to respect the tattwa, but you want to enjoy the infrastructure, then you will be called, you will be considered as demon. Few demons entered the heaven, started living the infrastructure, using the infrastructure without living the principles, tattvas. And it is very unfortunate when you live inauthentically, the same infrastructure, others also get inspired. Oh, then I can also be inauthentic. 
and have this infrastructure have all this life so god also slowly started becoming demonic when critical mass is not living authenticity the collective super consciousness gets destroyed so the amruta kalasha amruta kumbha is lost in the ocean of confusion that is what is described in the tradition as the nectar pot fell into the ocean now gods are suffering demons are enjoying listen gods enjoy when they achieve something demons enjoy when others lose something gods enjoy when they achieve something demons enjoy when others lose something demons enjoy by others destruction gods enjoy when they achieve something demons enjoy when others lose something so now who is responsible for the nectar part falling into the ocean you may put the blame on demons or gods but the suffering is for gods so whoever wants to radiate enlightenment they should take the responsibility even for others in authenticity not only your in authenticity others in authenticity also because others in authenticity is also is going to affect you how many of you cognize this others in authenticity also affects you so you have to take the responsibility not only for your in authenticity others in authenticity also who is responsible for losing the part into the ocean does not matter suffering is for the people who want to radiate enlightenment who want to live like gods who want to radiate the super consciousness because they are the losers so you have to be very clear please listen listen to the tattvas when amruta kalasha nectar part is lost whoever may be responsible but suffering is for gods so the people who want to live like gods have to take the responsibility not only for their in their authenticity and they have to take the responsibility for others in authenticity also they have to be responsible for teaching others also to live authentically so please contemplate on this principle today the enriching team please raise your hand enriching team this is the lesson for all of you atidi devo bhava team raise your hand so this is the lesson for all of you also taking the responsibility for others in authenticity taking responsibility for your in authenticity alone is not enough taking responsibility for others in authenticity also is required i leave you all with this one tattva today to contemplate and i have one more announcement from today whole day till evening 8 o'clock satsangs will be happening in the pandal continuously we have many acharyas up alive and kicking around ready to charge oh, sorry change you guys <laughs> and under the able guidance of manitya manishananda and 
శ్రీ నిత్య వేదస్వరు ఋషి నిత్య వేదస్వరూపానంద అండ్ శ్రీ నిత్య ఆత్మ మనీషానంద అండ్ శ్రీ నిత్య తురియానంద అండ్ మా నిత్య బాలానంద అండ్ వాట్ ఇస్ అండ్ ఆల్ స్పిరిచువల్ నేమ్ ఓకే మధుశ్రీ మధు మధుశ్రీవత్స అండ్ ఆల్ ద ఆచార్యస్ ఆర్ రెడీ ఆప్ అలై హోల్ డే యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లిసన్ టు great tattvas spiritual truths as experienced by them <laughs> as they are radiating so i request all of you to come and be continuously connected to nityananda tv live 24 hours the already the schedule is in the website satsang topics prayar teerth ka maha సత్సంగ్ టాపిక్స్ సత్సంగ్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ ప్రయాగ్ తీర్థ కా మహత్వ ఇన్ హిందీ బై శ్రీ నిత్య ఆత్మ మనీషానంద గర్ మందిర్ హోమ్ టెంపుల్స్ బై వేదస్వరూప భక్తి మార్గ్ బై మా నిత్య ప్రేమాత్మానంద ఇన్ హిందీ ద సీక్రెట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ బై మా నిత్య బాలానంద సంపూర్తి శ్రీ నిత్య ఆత్మ ప్రభానంద అండ్ సనాతన ధర్మకే పౌరాణిక్ కథాయన్ మా నిత్య మనీషానంద వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ నిత్యానంద వేదిక యూనివర్సిటీ భారత్ కా పునర్జాగ్రన్ శ్రీ నిత్య తురియానంద ఇయర్ పుట స్పెల్లింగ్ మిస్టేక్ పురాన్ జాగ్రన్ పునర్జాగ్రన్ భారత్ కా పునర్జాగ్రన్ శ్రీ నిత్య తురియానంద అధ్యాత్మ ఏవం శ్రద్ధ హూ మధు శ్రీవత్స అండ్ నిత్య ధ్యాన్ బై మనీష్ చంద్ర సో ఎవ్రీ డే యు హ్యావ్ నైన్ సత్సంగ్స్ అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ మై సత్సంగ్ సో యు హ్యావ్ టెన్ సత్సంగ్స్ Ma Arpana is also signing up. She will be speaking on subject. Let us know. Okay. Let us know will be the subject. <laughs> no, that can become a subject. Come on, start. Let us know. So, you have 11 satsangs every morning, every day, whole day from today. And... from tomorrow we may have some more eminent speakers joining like sri nitya moksha priyananda and ma ananda kama and many more will be joining we will have whole day satsangs in kumbhagat and we will also have some bhajans continuously great great and still dail davatar line is not fixed so we will not be able to have dail davatar and i have a question here from devotees that they, can they sponsor vandara you can you can talk to ma premaatma how to enroll for homa sar puja sar vandara whatever you wanted you are welcome now we will move to nirahara samyama so i bless you all who are sitting with us around the world at this moment in 573 places through nityananda tv and 42 places two way video conferencing having nayana diksha in 275 cities in 25 countries around the world let you all achieve experience live express radiate share explode and enrich eternal bliss